The Three Cuckoos Podcast is part of the Pod Gods Network. Hello, I'm Rob Dodsworth. This is Marcus Ibbotson. Hiya. And this is Timothy Newsom Ward. Evening. And we are the Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos, welcome to the show. Rob can't hear in stereo because he's never on here. Give his tips from Sarah Milligan. Bad dreams, a weak black child wants his prostrate with sciatica. He's a grumpy angry man. He's scared of dwarves and clowns. Tim, Tim, the techno geek. He likes to dance with Star Wars freaks. He likes to share facts. He's not as angry as Mac. And both his ears work. Three cuckoos podcast. Three cuckoos podcast. Three cuckoos podcast. It's a big fat Yorkshire podcast. Three cuckoos podcast. Yo! Sir. What's up? I beg to differ with that theme tune now. Yeah, me too. He he was really... Last week on the football podcast, he was really yeah. angry. I was, upset. I was upset last week. He was tired. And, he yeah, was really grumpy. angry. He was grumpy last week. You were getting upset. That's that's our sister podcast, uh, the Three Cuckoos Football Show. Yeah, um, yeah. Tim gets angry in that. He was furious last week. He was, I love he? that word, furious. He was furious. furious. He was a ticking time bomb of rage. <laughs> of rage. <laughs> was it a little bit? I yeah. can't remember why. I disagree. <laughs> it's probably about Wayne Rooney. Every time it says, <laughs> and he's deaf in one ear. Useless. Here. Well, actually, oh, no, I'm kind of technically not. Um, are you scared of dwarves and clowns? I don't... Um, why are you scared of dwarves? Odd, a, dwar- like dwarves. Odd, a dwarf clown. <laughs> no, that no, not a dwarf. Yeah, that's, that's freaky. Shit. I don't remember. I don't think I'm scared of clowns. I don't think you're scared of clowns. I don't like dwarves. We could try it. One if night. a clown like came at you in an alleyway, yeah, I'd understand that. Yeah, yeah. Or, or it was under the pavement. Or like if you were at a circus and the big top collapsed, <laughs> and you were like, ah, and there's a clown in there somewhere. I- Oh, you're like, yeah, so you're like under the covers with him? Yeah. yeah I think that they're a bit, a bit strange, because they've know. just got this face point painted on, haven't they? It's when there's so a no sad... So no matter how they're feeling inside, they always look really happy, <laughs> and that's a bit weird. It's the sad clowns, isn't it? <laughs> it's the sad clown. It's the soft clown. <laughs> clowns shouldn't be sad, you see, they should be throwing custard pies at each other and... Is it real Driving custard? in stupid cars. Yeah, exactly. I hope it's real custard. It should be real custard, shouldn't it? What, like... Um, Ambrosia. Light, though. <laughs> yeah, light, yeah. It'll be cheap, like little Lidl's, won't yeah, it? Yeah, put on weight. I it think it's just stuff. squirty cream, if I'm honest. I think it is as Yeah, well. boring, isn't it? Oh, Maybe we should squirty write cream's the... quite expensive. Yeah. Is we should write to the an clowns. An aerosol cream? <laughs> yeah. And ask them. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a connoisseur on I think aerosol buying, cream. like, aerosol cream is, is more expensive than buying, like, a pot of Morrison's double cream and whisking it up. <laughs> I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. You get more cream for your money, though, that way, don't More you? bang for your buck. More cream for your money. So Sounds what have like we been doing this week, boys? <laughs> work, work, Yeah, work. work, working, watching my films. Oh, yeah, God, you've been Films. Um, films. That's he's it. Wa- he's watched more films than Jonathan Wass this week. Yeah. Well, he's watched two. He's watched two, yeah. Well, All right, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, to at least contribute something to the podcast. Yeah. So coming up in today's show, we've got... A quiz! Boom! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I've got a little bit of news for you. Oh? A little bit of news. God. Because you were sneak it back well, in. Well, you were saying, where's the news? So yeah, well, it was, it was just a reason for me to rage at you because your news is shit. I'll bring you news. And you removed that <laughs> little bit of joy that I have in my life. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of I don't, I, I kind of forget that the negative to you is a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'll, I'll bring about. you back a little bit, bit. obviously. Yeah, um, my car's fixed. Woohoo! Hooray! Yay! Uh, the little cl- cl- clamp on the exhaust. Yeah, oh, doesn't sound like a tank anymore. How much did it cost? Uh, thirty-six quid. That's not bad. Yeah, fully in total. It's all right, that. With labour. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, I haven't really done a lot else to be fair. Uh, kids' party Saturday. Ooh. Uh, Where at? Bowling. Oh, oh yeah. pretty good. But still, it's a bunch did of kids you, bowling. You beat them all. Yeah, no, there's, a, lost. there's always a few parents. Yeah, swap bumpers up. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know thing? what that really upsets me? Does that even the though they're kids and they can't yeah. bowl? It's like, why have you got bumpers up? Yeah, <laughs> because the kids and they can't bowl, Rob. Don't be so tight. He's beating you me now. <laughs> He's got them fucking bumpers up. It takes <laughs> bastards ages for ball to go down. And you know, sometimes when they get yeah. a bit excited and they throw it again right quick, and barriers still down at bottom, <laughs> picking up things up. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Oh jeez. All parents are stood there going, "It's going to break the thing." It is. Does it annoy you, Rob? But it was good. No, it's fun. Do you know what? It was fun. Where'd you go? The film LA Bowl. Like as well. No, it was Hollywood Bowl in Bradford. Hollywood yeah. Bowl. Bradford. Was it busy? Yeah. No, not really. It's always Glow Bowl now. 
Glowball. Do you, do you remember when Glowball first came in? They used to put it on at night, didn't they? They did, it? yeah. It Nine o'clock be, at night. Yeah. It seems to be that all the time now. It's I used to be better Glowball. when they turned off lights off. And do you know what? <laughs> they let you keep your own shoes on now. Really? Oh, yeah. Our American listeners will be going mental now. That's going, crazy. What? You're allowed really? to keep your own shoes on at yeah. Bali? Apparently, if you're barefooted mm. or something like that, you're not allowed. You're not allowed in. Um because loads of people go barefoot. If you've got, I agree. Early. And if you've got heels on, then you've got to change your shoes. So they right. still have them there. Right. I think if you wanted to wear the shoe, yeah, you'd be you'd be more than welcome. Uh, but if you want to keep your own on, that's cool. It's, it's kind of like procedure, isn't it, to go get your shoes, yeah, get them tightened up, get on the get them tightened up. You see, some t- if you're like a, a a normal size, like nine or well, something you're like not, that, probably. Well, I'm like I'm like a ten. I think Is you're about all? thirteen, aren't you? <laughs> Tim has clown shoes. Tim, mm-hmm. Going back to clowns. Whacka, whacka. Um, 12. <laughs> I think sometimes, you know, like where you're at nine or something like that, you get shoes that are battered. Yeah, because yeah, everyone's destroyed. Yeah, because yeah, people have, loads of people have had them on. I always used to go 11. Because they were, big, they were all, only just, only a little bit. Because um, I'm a 10, but I'm 11 in certain ones. Yeah. What are you? What size of shoe are you? Nine. A nine, you see. It's normal, mm. isn't it, that? Yeah, normal. nine. nine's a normal, yeah. Everyone says it's not that. Everyone says that's too small. Tim's, like, got two nose arc on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Like Jesus. Fucking houseboats. Yeah. yeah. You live in them. You know what they say, don't they? Big shoes. Massive socks. Massive. Massive socks. Oh, yeah. Always odd as well. What, socks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, always yeah, odd. Yeah, always yeah. wears odd socks. Yeah. I have tonight as well. Gone for a bit of colour. Nice. Well, little flex of no colours though. Yeah, yeah. Get away with them at work, you see. Ah, nice. Yeah. Done. So um, last night, yeah, uh, um, I'm on tender hooks. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Go on, spit it so out. So at the end of last year, the football team that I coach for, all right, split in two. If you remember, probably not. No. Good. Give, give us Thanks a, for keeping. Give up. us a recap <laughs> for the, all the <laughs> listeners. We had too too many players, so yeah. we decided to split it into two. Right. We'd start a new team. Who'd start in the bottom division. And I was coaching that, and like the head coach, he was coaching the one above, and he took most of the, most of the good players. Oh, the son of a bitch! Because, well, they were the league above, weren't they? So <laughs> fair enough, they needed the better players. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so you were Galaxy B. We were no Horsworth Galaxy is the club. He was Meteors. We're Mars. You could have been Galaxy Caramel. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, that's not really helpful. You're welcome. Maybe salted. Uh, and um, I like that. Um, yeah, I do. So anyway, yesterday he decided at some point during the week he decided he was going to have a one-off game. Right, Mars against Meteors. Oof. He got a, he got a cup. Right, okay, and, okay, and everything. All right, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, because he was going to win because yeah. he was the league above. And yeah, he was, he was like he had him properly. Like he, he hired a ref. Right. Which you paid for. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, th- yeah, this was just on a Tuesday night with a load of parents there. Whoa. Um, and all the kits were there, they had yeah. all the kits on, and it was like, he was giving them the pro- full-on warm-up. Yeah. Me and Johnny, the fellow who coaches miles me, we were just like, yeah, whatever. Sign car. Yeah, having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> having a fag and a can of beer. Uh, we were just like, yeah, whatever. Do your best. We're not exactly he'd hired taking- fans, he'd got a whole <laughs> stand set up. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I think he'd said. TV crew were there. I think he said to someone, oh, we'll take some beating. Yeah. <laughs> right. We, we beat him 5-4. Oh, <laughs> wow. I bet he were upset, wasn't he? Have you got the cup with you? I got it with me, no. Oh. He, he was getting it engraved, apparently, though. I don't think we'll see that again. It's massive. Yeah, we're taking it back. It's, it's huge. It's bigger than it's, the it's Champions League. It's bigger than the Stanley Cup, cup yeah. <laughs> it's enormous. <laughs> He's actually living in it. <laughs> Swimming in the top. Yeah, oh, so you was... thought you better not take it off him if he's living in it. We went 2-0 down. Yeah. And I thought, we're just going to get tonked here. Yeah. We were sh- we were going uphill in first half. <laughs> and when I say uphill, it's pretty steep. Uh, yeah, I love those pitch. grounds. They're great. Um, oh, yeah, and they're I thought, brilliant. yeah, three all at half time. thought, right, we're in this. We're downhill. I said to him, downhill second half. You're in this, boys. So in the first half, we were getting done by balls over the top. Because yeah. it's like, obviously, downhill. It's kind of, uh, we're in this, boys. We'll win this. And all our players were like, at the start game, they were like, no, we're shit. They're really good. They're going to hammer us. <clears throat> He said, don't swear, you little bastards. We hit the bar, we hit the crossbar. Mm-hmm. Oh, we hit the crossbar, peppery. we hit the post. Uh, we were just all over it. Second half, beating 5-4. Ridiculous. Peppery. Well, at the end of the game, my players and me and Johnny just went fucking mental. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been even worse for him. It and was then like, he had to hand the cup over. Bloody oh. hell. It was like a, a proper derby. Yeah. <laughs> like England, Scotland. Yeah, it's all like over hand again. the cup over. And then it was like everyone wanted to take pictures of him. 
and not his team. Oh, bless. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Did you swap shirts? Have you got there, any salt though, for boys? these chips? <laughs> <laughs> Gutted for him. I'm not. No. Wow. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? It was his idea because he thought he'd fucking hammer us. <laughs> there That's you go. what it is. It's shot him, on it? Yeah, it has. Maybe next year. <clears throat> That's are you going to do it bitch. once a year? No, that's it. Or he wants to play it's tomorrow. It's going to be the one and only. Like yeah. One of seven, ten years. Be, he's cancelled the rest of the fixtures this season. We're just going to play that every week <laughs> until he wins. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> oh, it was ace. It was ace. It and I just could not fantastic. stop laughing and smiling like the rest of the night. Brilliant. It was just, I was just so pumped. It was hilarious. I bet you are. That sounds wicked. Yeah. yeah. It was great. So, so Tim, what have you been up to? Working. That was my week. Working. You have been busy in your kitchen, I've seen. No, we've done a bit more on kitchen, like stuff you can't really see, putting yeah. other bits and bats Thinking in. about stuff. Yeah. A <laughs> lot of thinking this week. We're trying to do, um, we've put in like an outside light in at the back, so we've we put some wiring in for that. And um, that's about it. Because my bro, who's doing the work, He's, all his tools are at work. Oh, and he yeah, want a lot, he's not at work at the minute, so he couldn't get the big stuff he needed to do. Right. So that's that's been a bit of a annoyance, but that's about it, really. I've been working. What are you going to do? That's about it. Cool. Not really watching any telly. No? Uh, it's not really much on now. <laughs> no, but there really isn't, actually. I've got like my American stuff that you lot don't watch, but... The Game fo- of Thrones. Did you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, watch The Thrones, yeah. Which, you like? which yeah. one's <laughs> actually <laughs> aired? Number one two. 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 One two. One and two. One and two. Right, okay. Have you watched them both? I've watched them both. You've not watched the other two? No. Right. I'm you be, you've like been it. a good boy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you I like thought it was good, yeah. <laughs> it was very good, isn't it? A lot, a lot kind of happened in that one. Yeah. yeah. It's like a set up of a lot of things, of where it's going. I thought it was very good. Was Rob, it? Did you watch the following, Rob? I did watch the following, yeah. What's what's going on now? Ah, it's ridiculous. Well, what's... <laughs> Don't you two want to talk about Game of Thrones a little bit more? No, it's fine. What happened then? Did Khaleesi get a the dragon? Pro- the, problem, the problem with it is... One <laughs> well, of Khaleesi's dragons did turn up. Did they? Yeah. The problem with it is that there's so much goes on in them. There's yeah. so much going on. Yeah. That, that ball no fella's point. there, isn't he? A bit camp. Yeah. He's he's, he's on the way to see her. Oh, hiya. Yeah. <laughs> right, sorry, go on. Uh, it's just... <laughs> yeah. It's, there's so much, that's the problem. Yeah. Right. And you'd have to watch it or you'd just sit there and not understand. Yeah. And that's just like like we used to do week in, week out with The Walking Dead and Tim. Yeah. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? It is a bit unfair, but it doesn't matter to me. It is. It's unfair. Until it's The Walking Dead listeners. starts again and then we can alienate Tim again. Yeah. Woo! It's for our listeners, you see. I just thought they might want to hear what you thought. I thought it was really good. It was a good episode. I, I, the first one I thought was a little bit a little bit slow, but there was a lot to kind a lot happened in like the end of the last series, so it's like just sort of catching up where what everyone is and this one's like moved it on a little mm. bit, got us kind of kick the st- where everyone you can kind of see where things are going a little bit. Is it bit following more. any particular character? No. No not really. It's no, all, it don't, it, it's all quite it, lit- out. Yeah. it literally is about them all. The start of all they all get key. pretty much sort of yeah. even billing. Right. Yeah. It's about it's amazing. It should all come that together. There's so one. many characters in it that they can actually do that yeah. in a 45 minute show yeah. they can, they can, you, can, you see they don't disappear for episodes and episodes and episodes you know up, up on it like you would think they would do yeah. they show a bit of them all but it's like that in the books Good. Yeah. every chapter is about a di- want, though, every chapter it? in the book yeah. is about a different person you don't, I don't like it when people disappear for weeks no, no it's good because all the threads are going to they all sort of entwine with each other anyway they're all sort of related to the bigger picture so I mean that's yeah Exactly. They've all slept with each other at some yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. Or they will in future. Oh, this yeah. woman yeah. with the dragons who was supposed to yeah. be the proper heir to the throne who, who's that on the other side of the world yeah. is now going to be meeting one of the Lannisters who's... Yeah. Well, she's going to be riding <laughs> those bad boy dragons. Well, at some point she probably will she, do. Sure. Definitely. <laughs> Look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring you out. He's just staring at me. Try me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take me for a walk, God damn it. So yeah, um, not, not to do with me. But it's just excellent. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it was really it's, it's good. Excellent. It, you sure. can kind of see how it how he's building, yeah. building it. Mm, yeah. Where it's where it's it, it's kind of hard because you don't we don't really know where no and how things are gonna, but you know all the pieces are there. Yeah. But it's how he's sort of weaving it all into like that's what's the good. That's John the Snow, he's the main man. He must. Yeah, be. All the Stark kids are the main people because it's like Bravos. She's gone to Bravos, hasn't she? Is thingy. Um, Is that like Benadorm? Yeah. yeah, just in olden times. Yeah, pretty much. But it looks a bit like still there. John, Sn- John Snow's are like... <laughs> John Snow's going to be important. His mum yeah. must be someone important. I've yeah. always thought that. Yeah, your mum. She's probably going to be a Targaryen or something. Or someone who's like, well, no, like a dragon. Well, not the blonde hair. So. Well, could have got that from... See, his dad yeah. 
was Ned Stark. Yeah, true. Was Sean Bean. Mm. And he had a son. Bastard son. Bastard son. Mm. Yeah, that's what they call him. Yeah. Not God, yeah. Um, and he brought him back to where he lived, called Winterfell. <laughs> yeah. And um, so he could live there. <laughs> it's like an idiot's guide. I love this. Yeah, basically. Go on. Go on. But we never, we never, we never know. Yeah. He just never, he never told anyone who Jon Snow's mum was. Yeah. It was just supposed to be. Everyone just presumes it's some peasant girl or some woman who works in an inn somewhere. I think she's going to be like someone really, really important somewhere, mm. like Cher. She's going to be a rock yeah, star. Yeah, she's going to be yeah. Cher. Yeah, it's pretty much Cher. Cher. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why it she, couldn't be Cher. Yeah, it could be oh, Cher. Except for the fact it's Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. And not oh, fucking Face. Or whatever that dreadful <laughs> film <laughs> face. Mask. <laughs> Mask, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Face. Face. Oh, that film was part fucking two. dreadful. <laughs> Mask, oh. part two, Face. <laughs> face. <laughs> face off. Mask, Mask off. That were Mask it. Off. Oh, that film were awful. <laughs> Mask on, mask on. <laughs> um, right, yeah, yeah. But the following, the following. Um, I I watched two last week. I didn't see it, did I? No, you didn't. For some bizarre reason, I just never got around to it. Um, and I Can really, I, say I really it? like it as well. That, the, 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 I don't know the, what the hell's going on. <laughs> what is going on with the dog? <laughs> the, the dog's just taken to wrestling just now. He's just got into it, and he's just absolutely. What he's like on my back. Doing? <laughs> is he like swimming? Is he trying to learn to swim? I have no idea what he's. Doing. I've never seen. Oh, he's after cakes. You fat ass! <laughs> that black guy who's like the bad guy now. Yeah, I can't remember his what? name. He grows facial hair oh, quicker man. than anyone in the whole world. <laughs> that was hilarious. In one scene, he had a massive mustache. Yeah. In the next scene, the mustache was gone, and he had enormous fucking hairy chops. A bit of continuous <laughs> problem there. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> continuous. Well, it's just stuck it's on. not. They're obviously stuck on. Uh, it, he's a master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> like Mandrake, not really though, is he? Like Mandrake. I said to Andrea, right, because me and my wife watch it together. Master of And I was like, spells oh, look, he's got an illusion. I thought it was Lionel Richie at first when he popped out. <laughs> he, he comes Hello. out with this. It was like a proper it is hello, Tash. <laughs> it was. It was. Was it shiny? <laughs> I, I proper started laughing. I was like, look at this div with a Tash on. And then all of a sudden it, it turns to him like at this gun range. Yeah. And he's got like... Amos from Emmerdale Farm. Sidies. Hey up, lad. Yeah. Like the full-on Wolverine. Yeah, it was it's like, like what the hang on. bloody hell What's day? going on? So why, what was the point in getting rid of the tash and getting the sideburns? Why is he in disguise? Just in case the bloke at the, at the, at the, at the shooting range Sometimes recognised him. Sometimes I see you pass outside my door. <laughs> I've no idea. I've no idea, Tim. And the, uh, the whole... I've stabbed you, so die immediately. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> it's it's funny, isn't it? Oh, is it? a joke how we're breaking that guy's neck, which you can't actually do. Oh, can you not? No. Oh, you white. You can't break someone's neck with your fucking bare hands. Um, yeah, you've shattered the illusion for me now. <laughs> you just can't. Um, is he going to kill himself? Who, Joe? Yeah, I bet Bruce Lee could have. Uh, no, he's getting out. He's not getting out. Yeah, he's you, not getting out. Fuck off, Tim. You, you know. Fuck off. <laughs> no, he's got twenty-four hours now. <laughs> yeah, but it's the following. twenty-four hours to live. Is Jack Bauer in it? No. He might no. as well be. Um, he can't. He it's, can't. It's the following. He can't get out again. Is is he Kevin will. Bacon going to go bad? No. He's dreaming. No, he's not. Right, they do these little dream sequences, right? Yeah. Because obviously Joe Carroll is on death row. Is this where he dances? At the minute, he's got about 36 hours to live. Right. Until he's, so they're kind of going over his list. This Has is your final option and this is right. what you want for your final meal. So they're going over all I'm that. trying to drink what's in the cup. <laughs> Because it's heavy. And there's He's left a fucking tea bag in and oh. it's just slopped on my nose. That's, yeah. that's when you get um, the obligatory tea bag in the yeah. face. You just got tea bagged. Hence the name. Yeah. <laughs> Tim's just tea bagged you in the Ooh, you're welcome. <laughs> you might need to turn that light on. I can't really see you. Um, no. So, yeah. So, Joe yeah. Carroll's inside. Joe Carroll. Um, and Kevin Bacon is obviously part of the FBI. He's still trying yeah. to catch. They still got heart problems. Peeps. No. no that's gone. It's just oh, kind of gone away. It? It might come into it at some point. Yeah. Um, and But they keep having dreams. Right. So Joe will have a dream that he's like with Kevin Bacon's character, Ryan Hardy. But then Ryan Hardy will be asleep and like it'll show you someone walking into his bedroom and you're like, hang on a minute. He's got like security coming out of his ass, this band. You can't right. just walk into his house. You- and then it's like Joe Carroll is in his house <laughs> and suddenly Joe's get this knife out and they're, they're talking about doing... Ryan Hardy's missus. Right. 
and then he wakes up in a big cold sweat. Do you think it's so a dream? Like, dream? They're having like dreams no. about each he's other. He's gonna wake right. up. He's gonna wake up. It's proper weird. And Joe Carroll will be getting out of the shower. Out of the shower. And they'll be having like a gay affair. I yeah. think that's what it's about. I think it's more likely, rather than Ryan Addy going bad, that's what's going to happen. His next dream, will be, they'll be having bum sex. They'll be have, they'll be going footloose they will. together. It'll be it'll be balls deep in him. <laughs> you mark my words. That's um, <laughs> the Americans. <laughs> No, they, they they'll know what that, that is. Yeah. That's balls deep. That's uh, <laughs> um, broke bed mountain so, shit right so, there. Yeah. So so basically, they've got this so, this mass murderer right who's on death row. He's got thirty six yeah. hours to live. Yeah. The baddies actually managed to break someone in there. Yeah. To talk to him. He's a guard though, isn't he? He's not a guard. Right, he was, so he just worked in a different place. If you were, no, he wasn't a guard. If you oh, had, really? No, he wasn't. I thought, I thought no. he was a guard. No, he wasn't. But he just worked in a different wing. In one sentence, sum up the following for someone who's yeah, never ridiculous. seen it. Ridiculous. Car park attendant. Um, it's exciting, um, but really unrealistic. <laughs> right. He didn't do anything. He was he was just mental, and he met him at the shooting range. Yeah, I, I just assumed he worked there, which is why he targeted him. I watched another Better Call Saul. Did you? Yeah. How many have you watched? I've now? only watched three now. <laughs> Because well, the problem is that Ab's been wanting to watch it, so yeah. I had to wait. You know, it's like, oh, um, oh, but she don't she don't want to watch it anymore. Cause she's not really getting into it, so I'm just gonna go. And You're a better man up. than I am. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, because I watched the following of the missus. Yeah, um, there's we, some things you got. We watch. both think it's equally ridiculous. Yeah, but still watch it. It's really watchable. Yeah, um, like there's a little bit where they figured out that this guy, who what? is he, not really scary anymore? I thought it was supposed who? to be about sort of terror and. No, it's like, a, it's like a... That's like a comedy. It's just a load of murderers kicking about. So it's, yeah. And the FBI well, the, follow, the following's ace. It's ace. It's beauty, isn't it? it but it's just... It doesn't it sound it, though. It's just totally and utterly ridiculous. There's no Sounds way like anyone <laughs> could manage to get someone in, not only get him in, right? Yeah. Also get him in with an earpiece in and a camera. Yeah, a little camera. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Into so a high security prison. So you could talk to In a wing on that... A ju- death yeah. Row. Guy to a man who's on yeah. death row. Ain't gonna happen. There was one guard covering the door <laughs> and one outside his cell. That was it. Wow. It's fucking bullshit. It's and he did, so is. before he killed him. Yeah. He stole his sunglasses. Yeah, he did. And he twisted these sunglasses into this. I don't know. So he's MacGyver now. I don't know. If he's gonna like. <laughs> he's he's created a shank. Uh, out of some sunglasses. If he if he if cool. he escapes, he's going to scratch a big hole in the wall. He's, yeah. he's tunneling his way. He's got thirty six hours to get out of the prison. He's turning to prison break. <laughs> if he escapes from prison, I won't watch it again. There is no way a man, he's a mass murderer, he's out now. He's out. would escape police custody three times. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> it Kev, is, it is worse than twenty four. Is Kev yeah. listening? I've never watched twenty four. Twenty four is ridiculous. How many people listen? Um, that fracking cat's listening. Hey, fracking cat. Hey there. Yeah. Um, so hey, yeah, there's um, there's, a, there's a few <laughs> little bits that you could maybe pick on. A few. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, it is Can't even kitchen baking, and she's going. He's not fucking escaped, has he? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, because she knows he's oh, gonna. No, he can't. Not again. He is we should really mention Ryan's. Catherine. He's gonna turn up at Ryan's with a twelve pack of rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Let's kicks his girlfriend get out. <laughs> get out, love. I've got a man coming around. Everybody cut. Everybody cut. <laughs> and he's going for it. Oh, my everybody God. Kenny, yeah. Kenny's going to be there as well. Kenny Loggins. Big three-way. <laughs> Kenny Loggins. <laughs> Kenny, what are you doing here? I brought the lube, guys. Yeah. It's going to be all filmed on his EE the... phone. Um, so, yeah, the following's good. What uh, else have you watched? That was good this week. I've watched my American shows. I'll watch The Returned. Oh, yeah. Was it episode six? What are you thinking? Which one was it? Um, it was where... A Victor or Henry, as we now know, he's called. Hmm. Um, actually, spoke to the, the little guy. To, to, the, to the woman. I don't even know what night that's on. Um, no, me neither. To be fair, I think it just airs whenever. Is it ne- Netflix? Put it on. Yeah, it's in, in the whole first season on there. Or no, is it just, not is yet. It, are they releasing they it? Release one every week, like they did with Saul. Right. Um, so yeah, what happened this week? Um, oh, yeah, she was on the roof, going to jump off, and Henry turned back up ah, again yeah. and went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, don't jump. Yeah. Because uh, I'll talk now. That's fine. Yeah. I'm going to talk. Maybe become and then, um, The girl who it started off with. Yeah. What's her name? Um, what, what's her name? Anne Frank. Might as well be. Jemima. Has it been with a C? Uh, Camille. Camille. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well remembered, yeah. She, um, it went back to her and she's like turning to some hussy now. Yeah, I remember. Who wants to knob this lad. 
Yeah, at the bar. doing it to pay her sister back. Yeah. Because she slept with her, her um, boyfriend. But he, he found out that it was actually her, so he's freaked and run off. Yeah. And her it's exactly sister, like who was obviously like four years older now, Yeah, she's got, um, not kidnapped, rescued by this serial killer. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> who's also yeah, come back the mountains. from the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and she's dressing up as his mother. Like she slept with him. Psycho. Yeah, she did. No, I don't think that happens in the French one. Because she's a big slut as well. I do. <laughs> I think it um, so it's a bit weird. It, it, it is a bit, and, and but there's not a lot on, so I'm just going to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, um, yes, Marcus, darling. Um, you stumbled. Well, Sam Sparrow from Sam the High Sparrow. Cast Thank you, Sam. Stumbled I upon you. a new drama. It was Ace. That's um, it's airing on ITV for all you Americores. If you can get it online, get it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch it oh, tomorrow with the missus. You're a letdown. Yeah, I know. I'm going to watch it with the missus. Tomorrow. What's it called? Safe House. Safe House. Who's in it? Christopher Eccleston. Yeah. What's it about? About Safe House. Boom. It's about this retired policeman who lives in like the middle of the country. Yeah. Right. And like, I think he's retired. Yeah, he's retired. It ain't just thingy again all over, is it? What? The other thing you watched with David Tennant. No. That was a Broad detective Church. drama. I hope it is. No, it's a three what? part drama. Isn't this a detective drama? No. I thought no. it was a retired detective. I'll just stop talking, shall I? Shall I unplug my mic? Shall yeah. I tell you what I think it might be about? Yeah. And then you can tell me if I'm near. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's about a retired detective who lives... I think he gave that away. Does live okay, in the I'll, countryside, I'll skip too. forward. He lives in the countryside. Right. <laughs> in a very big house. Right. Whereabouts in the country? Mm-hmm. I'm going like, to say... Yeah. Is, is it allowed to know? Down south. Oh. Allowed to know. Oh, yes. And <laughs> Sorry. there's been a murder in the local <laughs> village. <laughs> right. And the police... The sheriff of the town. The sheriff. Yeah. You've comes been watching too much American drama. <laughs> comes to see he him. Come riding says, on his horse. Yeah, comes in on his horse. He flew down in a spaceship, then got on a horse. <laughs> is, he on, is he bareback or has he got a saddle? Yeah, we'll go bareback. All right. And he says, Yo, <laughs> Yo partner. Partner. Uh, can you help us sort this? No, am I close? Can we no find idea. out what actually uh, it's Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <sighs> it's about. You're not, he's going to say it. I guess. Um, Who's right. done what? So this, so Chris Reckerson lives in the country with his wife. I don't know what they do. They must do something. They're retired. He is. I don't know what he does. He must no. do. He was retired right. from the police force. Right. I think one of his friends on the force asks him if he will let his house become a safe house mm, to yeah. okay. house right. witnesses. Yeah. And he, he says, "I'll think about it, or whatever." And then there's this all this stuff that happens at the start. It's like got the best. Start. As it out of any program I've ever seen, it was really fu- what? Jesus Christ! Wicked. You will be doing your nuts. Yeah, I want to watch because it because when I text. put it on Twitter, I said, you know, um, I, I was watching the start of it and I thought, I don't know if Rob's gonna if this is what it's about. Yeah, I don't know if Rob's gonna like this. Mm. Okay, but it, it's when you when you're watching it and um, right at the start, yeah, it's not about that. Oh, so right. Don't worry, right. <laughs> And it was like, oh my god! And then all of a sudden, you know, someone gets beaten up, someone gets stabbed, and then it's about okay. the family being taken there. Yeah, to the safe house. That's what it's about. I'm not going to spoil the rest of it. Is Christopher Eccleston Scottish? No. Oh, is he not? No. <coughs> is he Scottish he's... in real life? No. Yeah. No, he's not. Are you sure? Yeah, I he's thought English. he was. Because didn't he, didn't he put a little Scottish accent on? Didn't he David Tennant's Who and everybody went, oh, he's Scottish. Are you thinking of? Um... No, I'm not. There was something... David the, Tennant. Something in the press about it. I don't know. I thought he was English. Because in Shallow Grave, he's English, isn't he? I love that film. Yeah. Shallow Grave. Great Brilliant film. film. In fact, that. Christopher Eccleston's probably the, the best yeah. actor in it. I think that's the best thing I've ever seen. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah, McGregor's good. No, yeah, but he's, he's ace yeah. where he goes psycho. Yeah. What's his name? Keith Allen, he's good, isn't it? Keith Allen. With his cock out. With his little dinkle out. Yeah. It's tiny as well. Is, is it? <laughs> I don't remember that bit of blood yeah. out, you don't remember him with his cock out laying on no. the bed. <laughs> don't really, don't really remember that at all. That's the uh, show name this week. So yeah, um, <laughs> little cock. Keith Allen's Dinkle. So yeah, uh, you'll really like it. Cool. Because I did. I thought it was Ace. Wicked. Um, okay, we've got that to watch next week. Shall we? Christopher Eccleston was born in Langworthy, Lancashire. Lancashire. Oh, so oh well. I wonder if that's near Burnley. Mm. Burnley. Burnley. I bet it's next to Turf Moor. He was Moor. in Cracker. On a global scale. I bet he was in Cracker. He was in yeah. Thor, The Dark World. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Good. Yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, I enjoyed that. I wouldn't know, I've not seen it. Good call, Mark. probably shit. Um, you all like it. Should we, all, should we all ask Mark what time it is? Already? Can't we talk about the films and stuff first? No, not yet. We'll do the quiz first. What time is it, Mark? Oh, God. 
There's something wrong with you, I no, swear. There, quiz. there is. Quiz, 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 quiz. <laughs> Look at Tim's already taking his things off. Quiz, 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 quiz. Are you all right? Yeah. I don't think you are. Go on. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, strap yourselves in. It's Tim and Rob! Tim versus Rob. Oh, shit. You time that well, Rob. Quiz time, quiz time, quiz time. I'll just batter my microphone on. Is it over. cryptic? No, it's not. Crazies cryptic again. Anything. It's cryptic a, crazies. I, I was a bit tired yeah? today when I got home from work and I realised I hadn't done I understand quiz. that. I was very tired. There was a lot of people on Twitter last week getting a hell of a lot of those bands, weren't there? There were. The uh, bands somebody, were a lot easier in the films. Some, somebody, even that simpleton over there, yep. got three of them. Somebody tweeted, yep. "Bill Wyman?" Question mark. <laughs> yeah, it was hell. I know, didn't they? What the it fuck? was like, <laughs> yeah, I know, but whatever. Dun, dun, it was a good dun, dun, clue. Oh well, I got it, so it must have been a good clue. But um, it was like Bill, Bill Wyman. <laughs> That's a bit random, isn't it? But a good one all the same. So what's the uh, the this theme? It's just a movie quiz. There's got to be a rule now, right? right? Don't speak during right. his questions because last week he, he wouldn't have got it anyway. <laughs> but did I give you some last week? Yeah, did fucking I? Green Day. Oh, I wouldn't have got it. Ah, uh, yeah. I wouldn't He's have got like, it. Like Day, Green, 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 Darren Day, Green Day. <laughs> but this was the person who couldn't work <laughs> any of them out, no, and suddenly he gets the hardest one going. That, you need to stop talking easiest. during seen his seen questions. He didn't help you. Yeah. Remember that one about bloody. Um, <laughs> Anchor man, what the instrument does he play? And he's there giving it the harp gesture. <laughs> harp, no. <laughs> he doesn't help you. Secretly, he's that. really competitive. That's yeah. what it is. Well, we know. We know this. He'll do anything to win. I'm not at all. Even anything to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, the next rock film I'm going to watch. <laughs> so the the running score is uh, fifteen ten to Roberts. It's close. Ooh, it's close. It's it is not. Close. It is close though. It's not close. <laughs> it's five weeks. He's going to be on my tail. Yeah. Does this lamp turn on when? There? Uh, plug. Oh, Let's see plug. I'll do it for you. Oh, bless you. Oh! Put a little light in my darkest day. Oh, God. Loads, he's going to pull loads of wires out and stuff now. <laughs> there you oh, go. No, he's fine. It's fine. We're offline. It's fine. <laughs> we are live. <laughs> there we go. Well, hey, I can see you now. I can see you. The magic of live Hello, radio. everybody. Got a bit dark in here. Fracking cat's ready for the quiz. Is quiz, it? Quiz, 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 quiz. Stop Come on. Do it. it. Do oh, it. Right, it's just a movie quiz. Right. Just a movie quiz. It's, yeah, it's just, just, it's a movie. just, just general a movie movies. Quiz. Quiz. There'll I just, be some trick. I could not be... No, it's not. So it's just a straight up <laughs> movie quiz. I literally could not be asked when I got home from work. Right, okay. What's it eating? I have not a clue. What's it eating, Rob? Oh, it's my bun case. Don't let it eat the bun case. It's chocolate. It'll poison it. Cheeky little... Yeah, I don't think he's going to die instantly. <laughs> Where's the antidote? Right, Rob, you yeah. won. I did. I would like Thanks to know if you on. want to go first or second. Uh, can I go first, please? Yes, you can. I say through gritted teeth, Yano. Put, that's, well done. <laughs> I'm Robert, down. question yes. one. Yes. What were the character names of the hitmen in Pulp Fiction? Oh, my God. Full names. I've absolutely not a clue. Not a sausage. I know the actors, but I don't know the character names. Who are the actors? Um, the hitmen were Samuel L. and uh, John Travolta. Oh. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say one was called Jesus Jones and the other one was called um, Rod Jen and Freddy. Hmm. Yeah. No. Tim? No idea. Have you ever seen it? Uh, only, yeah, only ever once. Uh, but I know, I know some lines from it. But that's about it. <laughs> you don't, do you even know the first names? No, I wouldn't even have a, have a clue. No, but no. Wow. Michael and Brian. Brian and Michael. Jesus and Jack. John Travolta was Vincent Vega. Vincent. Yes. And Samuel L. Jackson was Jules Winfield. Oh right, like Carlton Whitfield. No Winfield. Oh Winfield. Like, June like Winfield. the cigarettes. No, that's, no, that's Whitfield. Whitfield. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Okay, go on. Right, Tim, question one. I'm, yes, I'm just going to I'm just gonna close this. I don't what is it? Um, oh, is someone cheating? No, not at all. Not at all. I just think they're playing along, and that's fine. That's They great. are? Yeah. Who is? Who's they? Fracking. Look, fracking can play. Sorry. Oh, good, good cat. Go on, Behave good yourself. Cat. Go on, that was a hard question, Tim. Do you think it? so? I might have got Vincent. I hate to tell you this. Vincent. <laughs> Yours are really hard, Rob. Vincent Vaughan. They're all quite hard. Uh, yeah. But you like that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, the it's got to be, yeah. be a quiz, isn't it? Yeah. 
I think Tim's a bit easier, but then again... All right, then. Tim's a bit simpler. No. There you go. Fracking cat got him. The bass. Well, you got one and a half, cat. Oh, there. We'll give you a cat. Well, well. <laughs> Let's quiz master, you know what he's like. Right, Tim, question one. Yes, what were master. the first names... Oh, God. <laughs> ...of Mel Gibson and Danny Glover's characters in the Lethal Weapon films? The first names. The first names. I had full names. Yeah, no. That's... What's the point in giving him the second names? That's what they're called throughout the whole of the films. It's too easy, is that? Right. I have no idea. Oh, my God! <laughs> Do you even know the second names? <sighs> One day from retirement. I'm trying to think. Oh, I've my no- God! I have no idea. It's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen them. Long, long, long time. They're ace as well. A lethal weapon. I don't think I've watched them this Century. millennia. This it millennia. Was, they're a lot better than you it think. It was... The second names are Riggs and Murto. Riggs. I knew, the, I knew the last name, I just can't think of his first name. We know why. Two. I have no idea, Quizmaster, thank you. Do you want to have a guess? You only need to do I have no idea. two male first names. Barry and Fred. He's got him! It's Barry Riggs, definitely. <laughs> Barry Riggs and Fred Murto. No. Oh, oh, Riggs. Oh, Riggs. Tim, Rob? Yes. Um, it was, I think it was, was it? Dear God, I'm terrible at this. Right, I'm on. I have no on. idea. Oh my God. No idea. I'd have got these, um, I'd have banged these straight out. Boom, Would boom. You? Um, I'm going to go for... <laughs> Come on, Cat. tell us what the name is. It's not Barry. Were. It's not Barry. Bruce Riggs. <laughs> Does that even sound right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Alex. Alex Riggs. Alex Riggs. It was, wasn't it? Alex Riggs. Yeah. And, um, really? God, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, no, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't. I no, was. it Stan- wasn't. Stanley Murtaugh. It was Martin. <laughs> Stanley. Martin, Martin Riggs, Riggs and Roger Murtaugh. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> really? I was close with Fred then. It was Jesus Rog. Christ. It was Rog because he used to call him Rog. And when he got stuck on the toilet yeah. because of the bomb. There you go. The cat got him. Well done, cat. Well done. Cat's winning. Uh, <laughs> She's smashing. Cancelled. Cancel the cat. <laughs> Rob, question two. Yeah. Which film features a parrot named Polynesia? Tim! Am I... Right, hang on. Put it down. You're not answering it! Um, is it Ace Ventura Pet Detective? No. Oh. Gotta be close. Go on then. No you don't know. Hook. Is it Pet Hook. Detective 2? <laughs> no, no. Is it not? No. Um, is it... Is it Lockstock? No. I bet the cat knows. Oh, As a cat, he'd probably be yeah, quite keen on... Yeah, he'd be Yeah, he would, yeah. What is it? Dr. Doolittle. I'd have never got that. Good. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. Tim... Question two: In which city is the film Train Spotting set? Glasgow. Oh, for fuck's sake! No. Is it Edinburgh? <laughs> it I've no idea. It had to be one or the other, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> I haven't watched it a million times like you. Oh but... God, I love that film for all the wrong reasons, but it's brilliant. With Rex Harrison. There you go. Go on then. <clears throat> this is an easy one, Rob. Yep. Really easy. Yep. Who directed the 1985 film? Back to the Future. Oh, Robert Zemeckis. Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! Could have gone really wrong, that. Couldn't it? Could have got that really wrong. wrong. Yeah, because it might be one of those sneaky ones where he's produced it. Well, everybody's going to say Spielberg, are they? Yeah. Spielberg? Spielberg. Did he produce it? He was executive producer on that, I think. Yeah. You've never seen Trainspotting Cat? Oh, what? I've only ever ever. seen it only once. Like normal. Mm. Yeah. Tim 3. Yes. Which is the only dwarf never to speak? In Snow White. Oof. Sleepy. Might as well go for that. I have no idea. There was one called Sleepy, was there? Isn't there? No. <laughs> there was Dopey. <laughs> which is what the answer is. I think it was Dozy, not Sleepy. Dopey. I'd have said Quiet. <laughs> Quiety. Quiety. That, I have no yeah. idea. Silent. That was my best guess. I probably should have given Tim this one. Uh, four. Rob. What character did Christopher Lee play in two Star Wars movies? Um. Oh. No, even Tim wouldn't know. Oh, God. Oh, I know, know, I know what it is. Oh, you know what it depends which, which name. It's a Star Wars question, He's got question, two on it. No. Mm. No, he hasn't. Um, right, hang on. Christopher Lee. Ah, oh, more common than known as Draculia. <laughs> yeah. And various <laughs> other hammer horror things. Is that Clue? <laughs> no, that was just me making a stupid noise. Um, the, the cat. Oh we should get the God. cat on live, and it can it could be Tim and Rob versus the cat. Cause he's got them all. Christopher Lee. 
He didn't get the train spotting one, did he? No. no. He's never seen it. Useless cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's also from America. <laughs> oh, give, forgive you, cat. Um, was he like Obi-Wan's brother? Was he Obi-2 Kenobi? <laughs> is that your answer? Yeah. It's a good no. guess. It is a good guess. No. I Tell know. him the answer. Count Dooku. Count Dooku. Count Dookula. <laughs> Count Dookula. <laughs> I'd have got that eventually. Batwing <laughs> blood. I'll get it. Sorry. Count uh, Tim, four. Yes, Quizmaster. In the film... Cannonball Run. Oh, no idea. <laughs> no what idea. Is the name of the superhero no idea. played by Dom de Louise. Super guy. I have no idea. <laughs> no! Guy. I have no idea. Fuck me. Your, even, your, your movie. The, the only thing I know about Cannonball Run is that the, the Burt Reynolds was in it and he drove a car. <laughs> have you ever seen it? Probably, but when I was like eight, that's probably the How only time I've know? seen it. I, dun, dun, dun. I think I saw it when I was five, I think. I have no idea. Everyone should know that. Go on. I don't know it either, so you might as well just go for it. Captain Chaos. Captain Chaos. <clears throat> Captain Chaos. Nice. Finally. Nice. That's a good name, actually. Yeah. Robert. Yes. Question but five. Your for, final for question. Win. For, the, for win. the win. Put your microphone down. Thank you. <laughs> Who is Angelina Jolie's <laughs> yeah. famous actor father? Oh, uh, so John Voight. John Voight. So well for the win! He wins. Boom! He but, wins. But Tim's question. Nah. Does it matter? Yo, oh, yeah. Why? Because I want to know what it is. Tim. Yes, Quizmaster. Who is Emilio Estevez's famous actor? <sighs> You've got this all day long. You have. Of course you have. <laughs> Think who his brother is. I know. You. I know it is. I'm just can't think of his name. I'll make you famous. Who's his, fa- who's his father or his yeah, brother? Yeah, not his brother. Why would I say, think who his brother is? I am your father. He might share a name with his brother. <sighs> he's, he's lost anyway. I just don't want him to get zero out of five. It's all right. Go for it. I'd like to get zero. But you know it. I know I could picture his face. I can't remember his name. What do you think his second name is? Oof, Sheen. Yes. <laughs> Uh, have a oh. guess. Have a guess. I just can't think. It might have been a. Que- it might have been a name we've already had tonight. Mm. Oh, Barry Riggs. <laughs> no, fucking Barry Sheen. Zero. Barry Sheen. Fucking zero. Martin Sheen. I just don't remember things like this anymore. My brain doesn't. Who I believe. I, I think of erased things. I like think this. in real life, his real name is Martin Estevez. Am I right in saying yeah, that? Yeah. No idea. I don't even care. But he changed it, it to Sheen. And that's why Charlie is a she. Yeah. But Emilio, yeah, he wanted to keep Estevez. his. He wanted, his, he wanted yeah. to keep his name. That's yeah. it. That's it's it, Quizmaster. What did the cat? Ten. What did the cat get? The cat. Oosh, he got oosh, at least oosh. seven. Well done, cat. Yeah, I think you were. Uh, well I think done. You won actually, fracking cat. Yeah, but well you done, don't cat. take part in this. No, <laughs> you should do. You should boy. do, cat. You can replace me. So I win. Yeah. Could Boom. replace you with a chair. <laughs> should we try and say? Yeah. I would never have got your uh, the parrot. In fact, the parrot one was mine. I think I'd never ever have got Doctor Doolittle. No, I right. Think, I think the 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 guinea pig was more famous in Doctor yeah. Doolittle. Chris play Rock the, played him. Didn't he? Play uh, the song. It did. Yeah, play the song. Damn it. Tim versus Rock. It went down well, that quiz. We're, go- I, we're I gonna thought. need to do a new intro next week. A new intro? What do you mean? For, it's gonna be chair versus Rob. Chair. <laughs> chair. Chair versus <laughs> Rob. Might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be like that, boys and girls. Um, well, we're gonna talk about the film soon. Um, but first, B and B podcast sent us a beautiful little uh, okay. idea. Now, I've not actually heard this. Oh shit! This could be anything. Right. I ain't listened I know, to it yeah. either. This this could be absolutely anything, right? We've got nothing to do with this. Dun, 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 dun. If there's words of a certain nature, we do not know what they are going Disassociate. to be. Disassociate. Okay. Yes, I will cut this out of the main cast <laughs> if it is that bad. Okay. Mischief, mayhem. Favorite position. <laughs> Anal. Here's a money shot from the force. <laughs> Thanks for adding to the show, guys. It goes great. I love when the show gets derailed and there's awkward silence. That's the best part. <laughs> Expect, Expect the impossible. I thought we'd defend incest. They're ugly and no one else wants to fuck them, so why not let their brother fuck them? See, I don't recommend getting hookers from the dollar store because they don't really have teeth anymore. <clears throat> Even better. 
one obsessed host. This, in my opinion, is just once it's once a week for an hour and a half, and you just just sit down and just fucking not be ADD for two seconds. A star. Luke, is it a wicked inch though? Is it a wicked? I mean, you put three hundred pounds behind a thumbtack, you're still gonna do some fucking damage. <laughs> a pothead. I like to smoke pot. And a guy that asks too many fucking questions. It if you guys just it. answer the questions, then it's not a big deal. It's all, just answer the question. Or you could just shut up. Or you could just answer the question. Only Sin City itself could bring you a show that tips the scale of our PC pussy world the other direction. Bold and belligerent. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever else you listen to shit. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for that, boys. <coughs> I'm actually crying a little bit with laughter. Their shows are just... I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Yeah, so go listen to the B&B podcast. Not that they listen to us. Well, they did last week. I'm <laughs> yeah, sure they listen yeah, to they it. Well, no. Lorne will listen to it. And yeah, Lorne will. Yeah, fair enough. I love, love their show. Too busy with hookers. Well, so, <laughs> films. Pot. So, last week, we were given the task of films with wrestlers in them. By Sam Sparrow. By Sam Sparrow yeah. from the High T cast. Thanks, Sam Sparrow. Not one of them had Hulk Hogan in it, which, you know, yeah. might have been a, a good or a bad thing. Um I had The Rock walking tall. Yeah, I wish I had that. Mark? I had um, John Cena in 12 rounds. 12 rounds. 12 rounds. And Tim had... Damage with the Stone Cold Steve Austin. Damage, which you kind of chose. That's the bottom line! So that's Cause I, uh, cause I saw, Yeah, I saw, I saw... I've seen Walking Tall. I love Stone it's Cold a big Steve Stone Cold Walking Steve Tall was all right. Yeah. Go on, Rob, you go first. Oh, shall I go first? Yeah, you go right? first. Okay, so Walking Tall, The Rock. <coughs> there's, there's, there's not a lot to it, actually, right? So the, the Rock starts off a bit like Rambo. He turns up. He's been to war. He's, he's like some veteran war guy. Turns up in a town, and it's the the mill, the wood mill, the cedar mill, uh, has been cedar. shut down, and a lot of people have lost their jobs. And this guy who kind of inherited the mill, yeah, who they've all grown up with, he... Built a big casino. Everybody works there. So now there's like pawn shops. There's hookers kicking about and everything. Yeah. And The Rock does not like what's cooking. Um, so he kind of... Oh, his, his little nephew, I think it is, starts smoking crystal meth. Nice. <laughs> He's like nice. Is this a Disney film? Yeah. Um, it's for the kids. So, <laughs> they, so The Rock goes into said casino yeah. with big bit of two before... Nice. Yeah. yeah. And um, <clears throat> whoops everybody. There is some really good fight scenes in it, actually. Yeah. So he whoops everybody, walks out, but they get him and they kind of cut him up a lot. Ooh. Yeah. Don't um, that. That's kind of, Actually, they cut him up at the start and mm. then he goes back for seconds. He goes back for more. The sheriff's not doing anything about it. Yeah. And he runs for sheriff, gets sheriff. Yeah. Um, suddenly, all the people who were the coppers have now turned to the dark side uh, and they try and wipe him out. So Johnny Knoxville, who is... Oh, yeah, I forgot he oh, was yeah, in it. His, yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah. His, yeah, he's his bezzy mate. Yeah, oh, yeah. So he is suddenly Fucking deputy Knoxville. sheriff and the woman, uh, there's like a woman as well that he starts sleeping with as well. And then literally in the space of like 24 hours, yeah, it all goes from not a lot happening to all shootouts, left, right and centre, people <coughs> getting killed, Stabbed with potato peelers, and a uh, bad guy dies. The end. So it's a little bit thin, but it's actually yeah. it's not that I bad. I knew you'd like it. Light and, on story, heavy on action. Yeah, and I was about an hour it's like in. Like any Arnold Schwarzenegger film yeah. ever made. Yeah, well, it did go that way, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, was he actually in it? I'm sure no. someone said he was in it. No, he a cameo. Won't. No, not at all. So get out! I'm sure I just shouted that at him. There was. As the um, <laughs> Someone's pimp. In about an hour in, mm. about an hour in, I think I realised that, do you know what? I think I've seen this before. But I read a little bit about it because mm. right at the start it says, based on true events. I was like, oh, really? Really? So when it finished, I Googled it. And apparently, this guy in America, in like Tennessee somewhere, um, he was a young up and coming police officer. Mm. And the sheriff who he worked for died, he got killed. <laughs> And there was like this mafia. <laughs> the dog's got like his paw. Yeah, the on dog's dog, like got his dog, paw on my dog, shoulder. <laughs> Rob's shoulder. Um, so yeah, the the, the sheriff Wait, died, and this kid who was like I don't know, like twenty odd at the time, yeah. he went. Do you know what? I'm going to go for it. So he went for it, and he got it. Yeah. And he tried to knock all the mafia out. Ah, right. 
literally single handedly. Yeah. And it turned into this like this massive shootout and stuff. And he kept getting like assassination attempts and all sorts wow. of stuff. They killed his wife. Um, really? And then when he finally died at the age of 36 in a car accident, no one believed that it was a just a car accident. Everybody right, thought yeah. he has been killed. Yeah, sounds but like... But uh, apparently, Walking Tall was a remake of an old film that the actual original guy, I think, starred in. Had like a little cameo because wow. it was all about him. That's so, quite yeah. cool, actually. So there you go. So it was kind of loosely, <laughs> loosely yeah. based on true events. <laughs> so who wants to go next? Oh, sorry, Cuckoos. Um... That, give that it. person's just followed us on Twitter. Who's that? <laughs> no idea. Crystal Meth is bad. <laughs> um, is it at Meth Head? Yeah. Oh, you're listening. Fantastic. Um, so, <laughs> um, I would give it. I didn't. I didn't mind it. I'm going to go eight out of thirteen cuckoos. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's worth um, a watch, isn't it? If it gets about eight. Joe Don Baker. The Rock in the is, original. The there Rock is a really likable character. The actually. cat seriously knows his shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I know. Wow. Yeah. So, um, well done. Yeah, the Rock, I, I don't mind The Rock. I liked him as a wrestler. Yeah, yeah. as good as a wrestler. Uh, yeah. Uh, the films that I've only seen him in. It wasn't Joe Don Baker who was the actual oh, wasn't it? sheriff. No. Uh, was- I've only seen him in that. What else have I seen him in? What was that one where he was gay? Oh, get shot. At, uh, too cool. Yeah. yeah. I saw no. him in that, which was a shit film, but he was really good in yeah. it. Yeah. Was it? I wasn't, don't think I've seen him in anything. Has he he's all right. The, oh, Scorpion um, King. Yeah, he's yeah. not in it for long. Which he's all right in, Hercules. but the CGI. Yeah. Like dreadful. Can I just yeah. say that Fast and Furious 5 was shockingly bad. <laughs> it was horrific. <laughs> like, you know, like um, I said, yeah. the spirit was bad. It yeah. Was, it was probably on the similar oh. kind of level. It was dog. I think um, I've seen it. Who's going next? Hang on. How many cuckoos? Um, eight, eight, you gave it. Eight out of eight. Eight. Good. It's not bad, yeah. Good. Not bad. I'll I'll go next because I think I don't think Tim really enjoyed it very much. <laughs> no, mine'll be short. <laughs> well, right. I've written loads, but So I'll be my short. my film was Twelve Rounds starring this... <clears throat> um John Cena. Right. I think we said last week, I think the director kind of had done some decent stuff oh, okay. in the past. Yeah. Um I don't think I've ever heard of it. No, neither had I. No. It was one of these that's produced by WWE Studios. Oh, wicked. Right, okay. Really? So, yeah, it was starring him, and I think I only knew one other person in it, and it was um, Lord Baelish from Game of Thrones. Really? He was, like, the main baddie. <laughs> <I love him. laughs> he was, they so always was pop up in movies, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so it was about, it plays just this cop on the beat at the start of the film. Yeah, I thought I was going to say that's it. <laughs> and um, he's, like, some arms dealer, this, we'll call him, Lord Baelish, even though that's not what his name is. No, it's fine for me. And they, so they've, they've, they've set up this like whole sort of sting to catch him. And it all goes tits up and he gets away. Nothing to do with John Cena. He's just like driving around. And then he gets drawn into it because they, they see, they've got this video of him, talk, the, the bad guy talking to this woman and they recognise this woman in the car. Right. So they follow her or they chase her and then he like, so they, and then he chases <laughs> Ridiculous. There's this ridiculous scene where this get the bad guy, they pull her over and they're talking to her. And John Cena stood by the police car and his his partner's like talking to her and he's like and he's like, Oh yeah, that's fine. She's like flirting with him. He's like, Alright, you can go now. And <laughs> Cena's like, Tell her to pop the trunk and then like the boot opens and this bloke just comes out all guns blazing. <laughs> For and, no reason. Well, no, because he's the bad guy. Right. So, um, Baelish. Yeah. He's in the boot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Hiding. Hiding. Yeah, hiding the boot because he don't want to get caught. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he pops out. And then they drive off, like, really quickly, yeah. obviously. Uh, and and um, uh, Cena, John Cena uh, gives chase on foot, <laughs> chasing a car, speeding through the So he's pretty, he's pretty fast. He's is, very fast. Is he like a free runner, though? Is he, like, bouncing? Yeah, he's jumping over, like, cars and stuff. running through people's houses and jumping over fences That's and all this like. shit. Yeah. And eventually catch she's up to him because they crashed the car all oh, right okay and then he's like got Amateurs. his gun pointed at them yeah and um she's like stood in this road and she gets run over yeah oh, sorry. and killed Ooh. does his girlfriend it's like seen girlfriend. robocop with the acid where it just yeah so he's like oh yeah what you know what's your name blah blah and yeah he sees his name badge and it's just like oh, whatever fisher whatever. price all like, oh, right nice one and he goes to prison and then he gets out of prison breaks out of prison somehow you don't see any of that yeah <laughs> just gloss over that and uh, kidnaps um, John Cena's girlfriend right to pay him back that's what I'd have done so, and then proceeds yeah. to make him um, eat shit go through 12 rounds ah. so he has to uh. 
some clues about where he's got to go, what, what he's got to do. Oh, right. Can I ask a question? Yes. W- where does the 12 rounds come from? Because he sets him like 12 challenges he's got to do right. to get his girlfriend back. Right, I see. So he's got just to get here 12, just by a certain point, carrying these bombs so they don't go off. <laughs> right, okay. Basically, it's got like... Is it a comedy? Uh, no, it, it's an action <laughs> film. It's basically got like chase scenes in every single mode of transport you can imagine. Wicked. There's cars, there's trams, there's helicopters. There's all sorts going on in this film. Helicopter chase scenes? Yeah. It's got, oh, it's got well, there's a helicopter at the start. Wow. At the end. It's just... That's like Blue Thunder. Yeah. Utterly Wicked. ridiculous. Yeah. Schneider. Utterly fucking ridiculous. But you loved it. <laughs> and then, like towards the end of the film... Uh, it all happened in like one day. Right. In like oh, really? 24 hours. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. Um, yeah. And the end of it was just like, there's this fucking grenade in this plane. Uh, the <laughs> helicopter. And John Cena's girlfriend jump out of the helicopter that's flying into a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You gotta do it. Gotta that's do it. right. That's right. So, like, Unstoppable that had, like, yeah. you know, all star cast yeah. and, you know, was highly rated and all that everything. Catherine couldn't watch it and walked out because it was shit. Right. We sat there and watched the whole thing and it was actually really good. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And I don't like action films, but I actually really liked it. And it's like, instead of taking John Cena as a wrestler and putting him in a film where he's got to act, they didn't really bother. Yeah. Play to his strengths. Yeah, like. just play, just be an action hero. And he was. And it was good. Van Damme's made a living off that. It was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Nine. Cuckoos. Wow. wow. Okay. You'd like it, Rob. You'd like it. Yeah. I think you both would. It would right. have been a definite 11 for you if it had had Ving in it. Ving Rames? Yeah. Oh, fucking what? It would have been 14 <laughs> out of 13, that. Are you ready for this? It was great. Yes. Yeah. Damage. So, Damage. Damage. The French version. So Stone Cold. Is this where the band got their name? Yeah. <laughs> Damage. This is where it comes from. <laughs> Um, That's so Stone Cold's in this one uh, there's quite a few other famous we kind of know them from other things but right. I couldn't remember where they were from <laughs> so, <laughs> but you'll, you'll recognise them um, no. so he plays an ex-convict called John Brickner um, John Brickner Brickner he gets released <laughs> after he murders someone right this sounds beautiful um, oh my god he murders someone gets out of prison yeah um, and he feels that guilty for killing this person. Right. He goes to see his spouse uh, and finds out that uh, his daughter, I think, is... Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, sorry, I've written it down here. So, so his victim's widow, Veronica, that's it. Uh, and her, her daughter's got this disease. So he promises to get her 250 grand to help pay for this operation she needs. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, Sarah, her daughter. So that's pretty much the basic premise. Was okay. he in prison? Yeah, but you Why? don't see that. He killed his, he killed her, her right, husband. Right, right. Uh, so you get so he promises to get this two hundred and fifty grand. So the only possible way he can do this is to obviously go and do these underground fights. Um, so he gets into this illegal fighting ring uh, with this guy called Reno and this bird called Frankie. So it's from then on. It's pretty. That's like the first second. So it's pretty much a prize fighting film after that. So just basically it's Stone Cold in various scenarios fighting these guys. There's some pretty cool fights. Is it like Pit Fighter, the film? Yeah, it's just like, yeah, yeah. It actually, it is just like that. Is it? Does he give the stunner to anyone? No. He, I think that's trademarked. Is there a forklift truck in it? I think there might be one in the background. In There's a chain in it. It gets wrapped around Stone Cold's head and he goes, <laughs> and um, that's about the best bit. I think I'd have made that kind of noise. Yeah. Is he any good as an actor? He's... That's a no. Ah. The problem is, I suppose, as there's suppose, some good bits in it. Despite them being wrestlers. Yeah. They still have to They're have actors some, yeah. for a living. Yeah, yeah. Because none of it's real. There's no, some exactly. bits in it where he, he has to talk to Shrink and um, and he goes, how are you doing this? And the Shrink's kind of ignoring it and he's trying to open up to him a little bit and it's like, you can see where they were going with it to add a bit more depth to it rather than just being an all out, mm. just fight to fight. But you know how it, sad I am? I've even watched a documentary about Stone Cold Steve Austin. Have you? And his whole life. He's like, he's a bit of wrestling, don't Quite interesting. Yeah, I do. So, it is, he's an yeah. interesting character. He's an interesting um, So it's basically, sto- it's just basically Stone Cold doing what he does, k- kicking ass. And there's some ACDC tunes in it as well. Wicked! So that was quite good when he was, uh, but I did put, at the end of it, I give it three. Because it just wasn't very good. Really? No, it, just, it, it, it could be good, but they just didn't do enough with it. And the fights were a bit hammer, you know, a bit sort of, because it got released at the cinema, but it got hounded really? in America. I was reading do. up on it afterwards and um, it got released straight to DVD then after that everywhere oh, else. Yeah. 
Yeah, probably three's a bit harsh. Might give it five, really, thinking about it. Yeah, five. It's not really worth a watch. There's probably better ones. Not half marks. No. No, not quite. Okay, cool. Didn't kind of do it. All right. I watched uh, Let's Be Cops this week, which it was oh, just yeah. a... I thought it was going to be a throwaway comedy. Actually turned into something else. Why would you watch that? Because, we, you know, when you download it and you forget you've got it. And That'd be like watching... We had um, nothing else to watch. Physically nothing else. One day I'm going to make you watch Paul Blart, Mall Cop. I've seen it. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. I've seen it. Why yeah, would you fucking watch Cause that? Because I've got kids. That's no excuse. Kids film. There's no excuse for Ke- anyone watching that Is it that Kevin, film? Kevin James? Yeah. yeah, he uses me. I like King, there is King no of King of Queens or something. King of Queens is yeah. funny. Ever yeah, like of for anyone to watch a film with Kevin James, <laughs> Paul Blart. Um, so yeah, let's be cops. It was funny. It started off funny, yeah. and then they get kind of roped into this. Uh, part I've of seen Blart. it. It's good. Undercover. I thought shit. it was good, and it's quite funny. It's quite funny. Yeah, Fucking it's it not. Good. It's not super funny, but it's not no, bad, no, is it's, it? it? It's not. It's not great. It's just there are worse films. I thought it was going to be terrible. Yeah, and it actually did. wasn't that bad. I remember seeing a trailer for it, and it looked fucking garbage. It just, it just the the trailer though looks like an all out and out comedy about yeah. these guys that dress as cops for a laugh, um, and it starts off like that, but it's not. The guy who plays the the uh, <laughs> Nick Miller from New Girl, he's in Jurassic World. I agree. Oh, is he? That, yeah. I agree. Cool. Right. Can't wait for that. That Cassandra Jurassic Crossing. World. Yeah. Before I oh, go on, you do Cassandra's Crossing first. It's quick. Right. Oh God, yeah, I forgot all yeah. about this. So I struggled to get this. Right, this was Tim. Hang on, this was Tim's train based from the week yeah. before. From the last, week before, which I didn't have a chance to watch yeah. last week, so I streamed it in a nice 240p. Nice, so it's VHS-ish <laughs> quality. Cassandra's Crossing. Yeah, so it's a it's basically this crossing. Oh well, I'll I'll, I'll tell you. I'll Don't tell give you. it away. <laughs> so the plot is that there's this existence of a strain of plague, and it's kind of vaguely sort of suggested it's pneumonic. So it's um, there's a US mission at, in Geneva at the health organization. So these terrorists plan to blow it up. Um, but while they're doing it, two of them get shot by security guards and one of them manages to get away. But while while getting away, obviously, he gets um, infected <gasps> with the plague. So off he trots um, with, the, with the, um, the whole of Sweden's security forces after him. Does he off, get the trots? Off he trots. <laughs> He would, he would have. <laughs> Two bot bits. So he gets these tra- this train uh, on the way to... Uh, I don't know what I've got here. It stows away. Safe. Yeah. He stows away in a baggage car of a Swiss train bound for Stockholm in Sweden. Yeah. So he gets on this train. And as he's going through the train, he meets OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> She's random. Uh, I think it was 1974, this. Right. So, um, yeah. And he, t- he touches various people and it kind of makes a point of him touching everyone and so you're thinking, oh, everyone's going to have this plague. Yeah. He touches everyone. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. With, with his tongue. You know, he just like brushes them or shakes their hands. Or just the tip. Just the tip. So he's being careful. So, yeah, he's being careful, yeah. yeah. So there's loads of scientists and millery on, on his tail. Um, so they, they come at this plan. This One of these scientists want, want to stop the train so they can get him. And, he's, and, he's, and this military guy's like, no, we're, we're just going to send it uh, down this old abandoned railway line which goes to like an old Nazi camp in Poland. <laughs> right, with everybody on it. With everyone on it. So they can get rid of it, you know, so they yeah. can control it. So, but one of the guys sort of says to him, well, it's going to go across this old rickety bridge called the Cassandra Crossing. Oh. And it's going to, there might be a chance of it falling into the... The uh, tension. The tension. Oh, I'm gripped. Uh, and that is pretty much what happens. So, however, the line crosses an old arch bridge known as the Cassandra Bridge or the Cassandra Crossing. Uh, and they tell us that the bridge might collapse and the train passes over it and it collapses. <laughs> Surprise. Spoiler alert. And that's pretty much it. They all die on the train. But that, that bit <laughs> on the train, that bit on the bridge is the yeah. best bit because it's it? like, it's. They, I think they did it with real the real train. A real train. Because <clears throat> it looks pretty good. You know, I was expecting it to be like little models, but I think some of it is the Like Jonathan Tank Engine. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah! But it's good because they show like inside the cabin and um, yeah. there's people getting skewered and they're flying around. It's pretty good special effects for the 70s. Cool. So that bit's just worth watching for that. But all in all, it's not a bad film and you can see like what they were doing with it. But um, Okay. Probably give it around seven out of thirteen, oh, six and a half. There was yeah. a scene in Runaway Train with a rickety bridge. Runaway will it, Train, yeah. will it or will it? It's kind of like back. that disaster sort of stroke. Poseidon Adventure, yeah, kind of. that kind of Andromeda thing. Andromeda Strain, yeah. They were trying to revive a, a genre with it. I can't remember. I was reading about it last uh, last time, the week before, and I, and the the like reviewer, Outbreak. yeah, that kind of. <laughs> it's not bad. No, nah, worth okay. a watch. Right. I, there's probably better films now. Yeah. 
So, do you want yeah. to uh, do you want to quickly talk about the? Um, no, we the, need to do next week's the Star Wars trailer. We need to do next oh, yeah. week's. Oh. So, so next week, right? Hang on, we've got. So Jude wants to do some. Right, we've got some already from <sighs> the um, Jude. from the nerdy vixen. Yeah, but I- they've already had a go. Okay. So, yeah, you've got some from Mark Feathers. I have. We've also got some from Leah Rice. Right. So, I think probably if we do Leah and Mark before okay. we do the other two. All right. Just do Feathers. Well, I haven't, well I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to kind of work them out yet. So, you do Leah's. If you've got Leah's there, let's do that. Oh, Is God, it I'm Leah or Leah? Leah. <laughs> Leah. Oh, God. Right. Here we go. Oh, Jesus T. Fucking Christ. You might have seen him. <laughs> uh, let me have a look. Hang on. Run Someone fill. Uh, Fracking Cat says, have you seen Snowpiercer? No, I haven't. No, I wouldn't mind seeing that. What's it about? It's Chris Everybody Evans, isn't it? Chris is it, Evans? Is it about a train? What, from it? TFI Friday? Yeah. <laughs> no, like. from um, <laughs> Captain America. Yeah, he is called Chris Evans, that guy. Oh, God. It, it, it's <laughs> supposed to be pretty good. Is it's it? like a class situation on the train. I've not seen it. Not I a clue. I saw the trailer for it. No, not a clue. Right. I won't mind watching that. Cheers. Go. Ready? Mm, don't know. He's probably arrived. <laughs> right. You did that a lot last week. Are they all about... No, go on. I'll tell you. Shall I go? I'll go first. Right. So this week, yep. starring Christina Aguilera oh, and Jesus. Cher, oh, God, I will oh. be watching Burlesque. That was on TV like two nights ago. <sighs> Who wants to go next? Um, Time's ticking away and I've got to watch these films. <laughs> Go on, lay it on me. Tim, featuring Liza Minnelli, you will be watching Cabaret. (gasps) That was close, I could have got that. Right, go on then. Shit, I'm going to have a chorus line or something. starring Nicole Kidman, you will be watching Moulin Moulin Rouge. Rouge. Which is actually really really good. good film. Moulin Rouge is really good. Really good, seriously, it is a good film. I can't see... It's the bit... Whatever I've got, It's the bit, though, where they do Like a Virgin and they're chasing each other around a table. Yeah, I have, yeah. Because, uh, come what may, Mm. where Kidman and um, Ewan McGregor sing that, I think that was the only original song in it, wasn't it? Yeah, sounds about right. And that was actually quite a nice song. It was quite... It was a very beautiful song. Very beautiful. Um, I love you, Nicole. But yeah, what's the guy's name? Who's in it? Ewan McGregor. No, the other dude. Um, British oh, guy. Shit. Yeah. I know you mean. I can't um, his name. Yeah. Oh, God. Hang on. It'll come to me. Just carry on. Barry Riggs. <laughs> no, I want Barry Riggs. Fred. Roger Sheen. All right, Riggs. <laughs> Roger Sheen. No, that, that's Roger an actor. Sheen. That's definitely going to be my, Daniel my Lewis. stage name. Um, Is he in it? You know, the... Ga- the <laughs> it's Baz Luhrmann, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think. It is. Yeah, I think it is. The British dude, does he own the Moulin Rouge? Oh, for Christ. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> the old guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, cat. God, what is his name, dude? You know the guy. I know the name. Yeah. I need to... Moulin Rouge, exclamation mark. What else yeah. has he been in? Oh, man, he's been in loads of bits and bobs. All British, usually. He's probably been in Potters and stuff like that. All right, Potters. Um, what are you looking for? Have you lost something? Jim Broadbent. Yes, that's Jim, it. Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent. That's the one. He plays the owner of the Moulin Rouge, and they're chasing yeah. each other around this table to "Like a Virgin" by Madonna. Like a virgin. And I yeah, want, I remember but that. It bit. sounds nothing like yeah. "Like a Virgin." And it like really. I wanted to self harm. Uh, bizarrely enough, yeah. Kylie Minogue plays the Green Fairy. Yeah, she does. However, doesn't voice it. Oh, it's voiced by Ozzy Osbourne. Apparently. That's weird. It says on IMDb. IMDb. IMBD. IMBD. Internet IMBD. movie badass database. <laughs> Placido, cool. Placido Domingo's in it. Right, okay. The Man in the Moon. I think I've got off quite lightly there, actually. Yes. Because Cabaret. <laughs> cabaret makes me want to honk. And I've never seen Cabaret. Like I said, Burlesque was on ITV2 the other night. Have you watched it? Uh, I watched like the, the first 15 minutes. What year it was? I what was have I got? The but cat got it. You've got cabaret. cabaret. What year cabaret. was it? 1936. Life is. It wasn't. He's lying. <laughs> it was struggle probably like that. late 70s. Oh, no. No. It came out at the same time as the Cassandra Crossing. Yeah, probably sounds yeah. like it. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Two films from That's the same That's going to be massively camp. Oh, oh, it is. Michael York's in it. Oh, Who was in. <laughs> he was in an episode of Babylon 5. He's really camp. Yeah. Cabaret you recognise him. What year was it, Mark? It, oh God! Life is a cabaret. that might struggle to get that. No, you won't. Isn't that, no, that's Michael York. He was in the old um, Three Musketeers. Oh, right. Really, camp. No, 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 not that. Cabaret. 
Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Well, obviously... What's wrong with that dog? Liza, Liza, Min- Liza Minnelli is Judy Garland's daughter. And Judy Garland is like a, a massive gay icon. Yeah. Oh, she's brilliant in Wizard of Oz. Cabaret is 1972. 72. Oh, I think I struggle to get that. No, you were. A female... And give me a shout because I've got it on DVD. Where are you going? <laughs> He's walking out in disgust. I've got it on Blu-ray. <laughs> like fish. All right, cat. This cat. A cab a fucking ray. This, this cat. Jim Broadbent, 1972. <laughs> He's like an encyclopedia. Oh, get him on Skype quick. <laughs> He's like Stato, isn't he? <laughs> We should just have him on standby all the we time. We should do. Just, just for case. movie trivia. Yeah. We don't need the international movie database. <laughs> Pop quiz. We've got shot. that fracking <laughs> cat. <laughs> oh, the interaction. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, 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 that's going to be hellish. I'm not looking forward to watching Burlesque. Uh, I wouldn't either. Have you seen it? Um, no, I've, like I said, I saw like the, last, the first 20 minutes and Cher, oh, I, I think she does one by one. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. Uh, I think they're all down. Um, thing is in it from Frozen, Kristen Bell. Let go. Yeah, no, she didn't sing that. That was uh, Adina Menzel. But yeah, all right. I don't she was. Know. She was on it. Um, yeah. The, so the Star Wars trailer, obviously the the main Should one. Should we wait for Nobed to come back? Yeah. Well, I was just going to mention <laughs> somebody had seen on a part of the trailer yeah. that there is there is two people or droids or whatever you want to call them combing the desert as in space balls oh, wow. <laughs> in a small scene they've kind of frame advanced that, it that and film. blown it up that film it looks um, fucking great so I mean does that exist does or it? someone just made that up I think it does does it I think it does Does it? Does what it? does it look great yeah I don't know I have no idea I think it looks brilliant what do you mean you don't from, right? from a non-fan point of view looks alright actually yeah I thought it looked quite enjoyable have you noticed Carrie Fisher's not in the trailer She's in... Never is Mark she, Hamill. They both are, but you just can't see him. I think the voices, yeah. Mark, no, it's Mark Hamill's voices in it. You he can see his hand. You know, you know when he puts his hand well, on that too? <laughs> that's, that's Mark Hamill putting his hand on it. Yeah, it is. And it's his voice. He voices yeah. the trailer. But you don't see... You know, you don't see her. You don't see her. No, Carrie Fisher is the one who's getting the lightsaber handed to her. Ah, right. Supposedly. It, yes. Is that a double right. entendre? Because he says, my sister has it. Yeah. And someone gives... Yeah. Supposedly. And then, oh. of course, they had to fucking show... Yeah. Old man... I thought Ford. I looked at this. Old oh, man River. Chewy. Chewy. <laughs> they should have made Chewbacca completely grey. Yeah, they should. <laughs> like uh, like Timo's dad. Timo's dad. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sent you, didn't I, saying he, he should have just looked like Timo's dad. That would have been brilliant. I think it looks wicked. <laughs> I don't think you can tell from that. It don't really... Uh, I think it... For me, personally, I thought it would look It's just wicked. like a... a but I'm the black guy who's dressed as a stormtrooper just looking like he's it's the teaser it's only a teaser as well isn't it yeah. continually in every scene he's in he looks like he's done he? yeah he does he's yeah. sweating looking like he's shitting himself it'll be ace I know it'll be ace you can tell it'll be maybe ace. he's desperate for a shit and he can't get the <laughs> that's the premise of the film from the start he's busting he's trying to find a toilet he's always doing- and he gets, <laughs> he gets caught up in the whole galactic war and by the end of it he's like Grr! they're changing the, t- they're changing the, they're changing the you know, like Star Wars, whatever, whatever yeah. number it is. They changed it to The Bowel Awakens. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bowel what it's called. Awakens. <laughs> I really need to shit. So, yeah. Yeah. Fine. It'll be ace. I've it told sh- Catherine she's got to watch all six of the others before Christmas. Yeah. And then they've said there's going to be a spin off as well. Yeah, there's yeah. going to be a sta- there's going to be three one, of that? these. And there's, yeah, yeah. And there's going to be a standalone, which is being made by the same people. The yeah. Same directors, being written by the same people. Same universe. Isn't it? So, yeah. are they taking the bull by the horns and they're going to film all three of them at the same time? No, I think they're doing them individually. So that Harrison Ford doesn't kill himself. Well, I don't before know. Before the end. Because <laughs> he's already know. broken his leg, yeah. crashed a plane, yeah. um, done everything. Do you know what was really, really What we should do is tune into the Harrison Ford podcast. I don't know if oh, it's going to be yeah. the, the, the three. I don't know if they're going to be any of the others. They'll probably know. You never know, do you? Goes, yeah. Wait, they might kill him off. Yeah, never they never know. know. Um, I doubt it. Was, I doubt it, but you never uh, know. The Last Crusade was on the, oh, other, the other night. Love and it. Just as I turned it on, it was Harrison Ford and... Sean Connery. Hello there. They were in. Do this, that line you did the other week. They were in this Nazi blimp. Which one? The Sean Connery one. <laughs> Wh- he which said one? something about eating something for hours, and it just <laughs> has been stitched every time I hear it. No, that's that's Nicholas Cage. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's oh, I Nicholas could eat a peach Cage. for hours. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, I yeah. Could eat I a peach for hours. Hour. No, yeah. face off, isn't it? Face off. Yeah. I thought that was Sean Connery. Um, yeah, it might as well I have love been. That. Might as well I have love been. that. It's about as good as my Christopher Walken. So they're in the this Nazi blimp, and it, yeah. there's a plane like attached underneath. What we're talking about here? Uh, the Last Crusade. Oh. So Harrison Ford dun, gets dun, in, dun, 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 and Sean Connery obviously is meant to play his dad. Goes, I didn't know you could fly a plane, <laughs> and he goes, yeah. and he goes, I can fly it, I just can't land, land it. it. 
And I thought, that's true in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the second one was set before the first one. Temple of Doom. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. The second... Or was it? Indiana the second Jones. Indiana Jones film was set before the first They're one. They're doing another Indiana Jones film. They always do. No. They always just show the one with the I didn't melting know Nazis at the end. Yeah. That's the only one they show. I didn't know that. Why? I didn't know it was a prequel. I don't know. I don't know if it... Uh, yeah, the funny out there, the way they set those. Yeah. I don't, it's not set that far behind, I don't think, is it? I don't know. That's why he wasn't in the first one, I think, short round. I don't think that's why they said... Cause he, oh, I don't know. I can't remember now. I kind of knew something about it, but... Solid Christmas gone. movies. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. Yeah, I quite like him. I think it depends. I, I, we've seen him growing up. So. Yeah. Last Crusade's all right. Yeah. Yeah, Last Crusade's all right. Yeah, Raiders, the best Raiders, Raiders the is the best. Pan, doesn't it? I prefer the I prefer, I prefer Last Crusade. Yeah. I like all the three. I, I didn't like Crystal Skull. <laughs> I didn't like it was Crystal Garbage. Skull. Yeah, it wasn't very good, unfortunately. It wasn't very good at all. There's it? some all right bits in it, but mm. in general. It was garbage. Yeah. Didn't quite work, did it? No. I can see what he would try to do with it, but it's the just... cat will tell you he's the font of all knowledge. Yeah. Uh, when does Age of Ultron come out next week? Next I think. week it is next week. Isn't it? I have no interest. When does Jurassic Park, work. Jurassic June. World come out? June, I think. Because that's soon. Did you watch the trailer? I think it's June. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit, that looks it really looks good. So, do you think the main dude, uh, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy, is him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he has trained the raptors? It's, to sort it looks, looks that like way. It. That looks pretty cool. How the hell do you train a raptor? The dinosaur. But they look a bit different, don't they? He's pull its tail up. Yeah. Yeah, stick Maybe its it finger like it's in. not. They do like a, a like cruft. Like a cruft. They blow it like a cruft. <laughs> <laughs> With velociraptors. <laughs> He's so what have they bred? Stuff. So they've bred a T-Rex with a raptor? They, they've bred like a super T-Rex on this. Yeah, I don't, you don't I actually see it, do you? Yeah, you do. We see bits of you it. See it. No, you see the whole thing in do the you? trailer right at the end. Oh, dear. I don't think you did see it. given the game away now. No, they can see it. That upsets me a little bit. They, I, well, thought, I didn't know they did. I yeah, you do. Please you only see bits of it, bits of it, and then you see like the whole thing. Is it coming out in 3D? Yeah. Yeah. Real is 3D it? as well. I want to see yeah, it in 3D. Yeah. I'm going to take my little girl to see it, I think. I was going to see Star Wars at the IMAX, but I'm not going to IMAX again. It's got a raptor to it. What the hell was that? It's a raptor. What was that? Or a T Rex. It's probably my dog just getting on the bed. I've been watching a few films recently as well. I've um, I watched The Bear Baduk. Is it is it any good? Did you did you think it was really creepy? No, didn't you? I thought it was shite. I thought it was really creepy. Just don't fancy no. that. It's not. It's, don't bother. The Bear Baduk. Yeah. yeah. Is it? It's, it's is in it Australia. Awesome? Is it only yeah. there? It's really weird. Like really it dark. Won loads of like. Well, that kind of yeah. Critics loved it. That's why it which kind of always says yeah. It, it does a it's little bit because it's yeah. a serious film. Yeah. With a message, and it's more about like I said at the uh, time, it's more about loneliness and depression yeah, and it grief is. Yeah, it than is. it is about a horror film. Right. So it's, it's more about the manifestation. Her about. manifestation of right. her husband dying on the way to taking her to the hospital to have her to have their son. Yeah. And it's her manifestation of that. Ah, I and her see. projecting that onto her son. That's why the critics love it. Yeah. As so every opposed time, to it being a horror film. So every time the wasn't. little lad's birthday comes round, it's obviously the anniversary of her husband's that death. Brings who the, she loved yeah. more than life itself. Baba Duke, the Bob bits Duke. where the Baba Duke's in it are fucking terrifying. They are absolutely creepy. It is a yeah. really, really yeah. well made uh, creature. Creep. And the bits he's in are awesome. But you don't see, like, a lot of it. Yeah, and well, that's the best way, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really sinister, isn't it? It is sinister, but it's um, not in it enough. It's not about no. the Babadook. Um, it's a bit of a mind That's, that's the uh, the face of it, isn't it? It's and more it's about... it's really, really miserable. Oh, we, yeah, 100%. Really miserable. Do you know what? Actually, I watched it in sections because I didn't mm. have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. Mm. So I ended up watching like 20 minutes and then that. I'd watch another 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah I don't like doing that. It's no. mostly, actually, with this, I think it was that depressing. It's yeah. mostly about her and Can her give me a son break. and she wraps him up in cotton wool and, and all yeah. the rest of this. Changing the subject, have you watched Oculus yet? Yeah, I saw it ages ago. Is it good? It's Oculus. all right. I, I was starting on Netflix and I still haven't got around to watching it's, that. It's fucking it's ridiculous. It's very confusing, isn't it? It's really confusing. Is it? really confusing. Uh, I won't bother then. But, well, no, it's worth a watch. Out of five, would you give it? Out of five? Out of three. 13. Out of 13. Um, I quite like shit like that. I'd probably say... Uh, uh, eight? Yeah. Seven or eight, it won't Yeah, kind of half give it a go. Might give it a go. I that, quite liked what, it. I thought there was some all right scenes in it. Speaking of horror... Bulb, that was cool. The Enfield Haunting. Oh, yes. Have you now, seen the trailer for right, it? I sent you this, didn't I? Yeah. Right, the Enfield Haunting. Now, have I you ever the, heard I saw the billboard. the actual real life, the Enfield no. Poltergeist? Have you not? No. You remember right. Ghost Watch that we yeah. saw back in 1992, everybody in America, right? There was a thing on the BBC called Ghost Watch. Brilliant. And the BBC 
swiftly swept under the carpet and forgot all about it because it had that many complaints. Yeah. I've watched that not that long ago. It's brilliant. Really we watched scary it together. Still. Yeah. It's, yeah. On, it's on YouTube. You can watch yeah, it. It's yeah. really quite YouTube. good. So YouTube I've goes to watch 1992 well BBC. It's on there. Mm. And it's meant to be like a live broadcast from a haunted house. It was and, wicked. And when we saw it live, it we were... scared the shit out. I, mean, I didn't sleep for a week yeah, after we were like 12. That. No, neither did I. We were like 12. We thought it was real. Um, well, the, uh, that was based on the Enfield Poltergeist, ah. which was a true... Apparently, it was based on true events. Right. You'll have seen pictures of it. You will have yeah. seen pictures of it. it. It was in all the papers. I mean, this is before we were born, but you'll have seen pictures of these girls, yeah. like... Yeah, you will have Allegedly being, recognize it. being thrown around the bedroom and stuff yeah. by this This is in entity. England? Yes. This is the, it was in Enfield. Yeah, That's why it was. Enfield, ah, yeah. sorry. So, obviously... Ghostwatch is based on that. Right. So this is based on the true events that were the Enfield Ooh. haunting. So the, the trailer good, was on haunting. the other day. Yeah, it was. On yeah. telly. And it looks really scary. Before I get excited really about scary. it. Timothy which, Spall's in it. Which channel is it on? Sky it's on Living. Sky Living. Oh, okay. It looks... It's got a bit of budget. It looks really creepy, doesn't it? It does look really creepy. Really creepy. Uh, they've also done like um, a spoof advert for it. Yeah. So there's like, um, they set up this house and this woman, have you seen this? This yeah. woman um, is trying to sell this house. Yeah. And they've obviously rigged it full of cameras and rigged it full of things that are going to move. And she's showing the estate agents around. I think I've seen it. And they are freaking out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they obviously come out at the end. Ah, it was uh, this, yeah, this, yeah. this. So that's quite, yeah, that's quite that's good. That's cool, isn't it? But it, it, it's probably going to be very sinister. Ooh. Yeah. In it. Yeah. I, I quite it like When does it start? Like I'm not sure. I think it could be May. Sometime yeah, soon-ish. in May. Yeah, it might be Bank Holiday Weekend. Is it a three-part or something? Or is it a feature length? Or no, I think it's going to be a few parts. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a few parts. Might I think a, Timothy Spall's in it. Might it might be a 12-part. Yeah, might it? A lot of things are 12 It looks good. It? it does look like it's got a bit of budget, yeah. yeah. But oh, somebody good. else might have made it and Sky Living have bought it. Yeah. So, yeah, that looks wicked. Sweet. Yeah. I look forward to good. that. Yeah, it looks really good. So really good. We've just got a bit of news. <gasps> I just thought I might, you know... Throw the cat among the pigeons. Oh, cat. Sorry, cat. Nothing to do with a fracking cat. Sorry, cat. Uh, fracking. Sorry, kitty. kitty uh, so cat. there was a... a pe- this was in the today's newspaper, actually. A shop owner was fed up with the blue screen of death. Right. Um, so he went out and um, killed his computer by shooting it eight times in an alleyway. <laughs> so police in Colorado have cited a 37-year-old man for carrying his computer into an alley then shooting it eight times with a handgun. Jesus. After what authorities said has been a long battle with an uncooperative machine. Um, oh, he's in some serious shit for this. Well, yeah, well, uh, So Lucas Hinch, who owns an organic herb and tea shop, was cited for discharging a firearm within city limits after officers responded to shots fired early on Monday evening. The Colorado Springs Police Department... Um, said the investigation revealed a resident was fed up with fighting his computer for the last several months. And blew it away. Uh, And the statement was entitled, Man Kills His Computer. Uh, He took his computer into the back alley and fired eight shots into it with a handgun, effectively disabling it. Uh, It was a Dell machine. Yeah, I can Um, imagine. Yeah. Bloody Dells. So they said he was a really good-natured guy, but he'd obviously just had enough. You think you'd know? be pretty chilled working well, at a herbal shop, wouldn't you? I mean, they do say it's the blue screen of death. It yeah. kind of is, isn't it? When yeah. you see the blue screen, you're like, oh, It's very shit. frustrating. Um, so there's a picture. It's a bit shit. And it's just a, a picture <laughs> of a Dell machine. And he's he's got eight really good rounds into it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah. six, seven, eight, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's unleashed. Uh, there was another one today. Um, traffic police stunned a sheepdog drives farmer's machine through fence. Is this in Scotland? Onto motorway. Um, it was in South Lanarkshire, ah. which is Scotland, I think. I think isn't it, it is, yeah. I think so it's... traffic came to a standstill this morning yes. after a sheepdog took control of a tractor before driving it through a farm's fence and onto a busy motorway. Oh. The dog, called Don, leaned onto the controls of the tractor before driving it onto the M74 near Abingdon wow. in South Lanarkshire during rush hour. Don! It was later revealed that the four-year-old collie had jumped onto the driver's seat of the mini tractor as farmer Tom Hamilton, 77, was tending to a lamb in a field. <laughs> Moments later, the vehicle shot out of the field and crashed down a bank by the side of the road before colliding with the oh, central God, reservation. That could have been really bad. Yeah, it could have been, couldn't it? Police raced to the scene and found motorists had managed to avoid the tractor <clears> while <throat> Don was just sat there. <laughs> oh. Like Sid would be now, just going... Sit, Don! Um, Traffic Scotland tweeted, M74 North, Junction 13... RTC. Due to dog taking control of tractor. <laughs> nope, not joking. Farmer and police at scene, vehicle in central res. Hashtag, may cause tailbacks. 
Um, yeah, Don the Collie has now been installed as the new favourite to replace Clarkson on Top Gear. <laughs> Same sort of hair, I suppose. As everybody, <laughs> everybody's replacing Clarkson on Top Gear. Yeah, everybody. Sorry, I won't listen to him. Mm, that's fine. Hannibal, Hannibal season three starts in June. Does it? June the fourth. I might have to watch Hannibal. Hannibal. I kind of fancy that. He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's a nice Hannibal. guy, isn't he? He's and, a good lad. Yeah. yeah, he's in Europe now. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yeah. Is that how season two ended? Well, yeah. He was on a plane. He's ah. going to meet Clarice. Hello, Clarice. Hello. Clarice. Hello, Clarice. I'm coming. Oh, you. I got you. Sorry, I just threw something there. And <laughs> it, it, it's already Will Graham goes to find him. Yeah, I would imagine he does, so he's yeah. Not, he's, not, he's not dead. It'll turn into the following. He's not dead. He don't mention get. anything about Fishburn, so I don't know what happened to him. Oh, really? But the, the end of season two... Mm. You need you, you should watch it. I watched most of the you first should season. Watch it mm, uh, you should, yeah. Season t- season two is tough. Yeah, and you're probably better taking a day and watching the whole thing, right? Because taking a day, yeah. God. Because we watched it as it. What? I so just, you can manage that. I totally doubt it. Oh, you watched it as it aired. I watched it as it aired. Yeah, and it lost me a bit. Did it? Yeah, and I didn't really understand what was going on. I boosted through it, and then I watched one a day, is he and then eight? all of a sudden, with about three episodes left yeah. it just suddenly all brought it back together and it was amazing and the season finale of season two watch. was superb yeah it was I watched I watched all of it it was an absolute bloodbath I watched one every day yeah Um. so yeah about what two weeks yeah. I would have said I watched it in and it was wicked is it a, is it a full season though? second season was much better than the first I thought I I, I, I did like the I liked the way it was kind of shot and done the first it were a little a, bit, a little bit slow but mm. I think it was kind of building because of the way the character, who the characters are, it had that more sort of cerebral sort of feel to it, didn't it? With that kind of yeah, cool. Gillian Anderson's in it. So who is good. Gillian Anderson? Oh, I'll watch it definitely. Yeah, she is Gillian Anderson. Love a bit of the old Jill. And there's a new one coming out called Aquarius. We'll kick it off with a two-hour the premiere the... on Thursday the twenty-eighth. What's it about? May. <laughs> I thought you said there was a new... I am! I'm going to tell you, but you're butting in. <laughs> you always do that. It's very sensitive. The series sensitive. stars David Duchovny as a detective set in 1967 who starts working on a missing persons case and ends up tracking a young cult leader who's recruiting women to join his cause. The cult leader in question is someone whose name you might recognise. Charles Manson. I knew you were going to say He's that. He's young ah. and cute and sporting a beard. Like me. So that might be quite good. <laughs> that starts on the 28th of May. David that Duchovny. sounds good. Yeah. Dawning of the Age of Aquarius. I've never seen anything with David Duchovny besides the X-Files. I'll Californication. I've never watched it. Oh, can't be asked. I think I watched two of them and it's boring. It's brilliant. I'll definitely give that a whirl. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, right, well, I think... Is it tea time? That might be it for this week, boys Is and girls. Is that it? Yeah, well, it might be. Have we finished? Thanks for um, joining us. Yeah, if you're into football, keep... Stay tuned, and we'll be back um, we'll in be back. That's, uh, 10 soccer 10 15, for you, minutes. Yeah. Cat. Soccer. 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 Ball with foot. Actually putting through a ball. Play an ad, Rob, just because. The offence. Do you want me to play an ad first the, before um, we leave? Play the Terminator 2. Do you want me to? Yeah. Okay, before, like this is, nice. we'll say bye-bye in a minute. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. They lived only to face a new nightmare. The Three Cuckoos Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) We all love that, don't we? (laughs) Oh dear. Yeah. So next week we'll be back. We'll be back back back. next week. If you've got anything to add, (laughs) obviously just get us on Twitter at Three Cuckoos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Follow us on Facebook. We're on there. Yeah, you can send us an email if you want. Facebook. If you want to keep it personal, Jesus, yeah. Send us an email if you want. You could actually write to us with a postcard if you want. No, I wouldn't do that. Send it to Three Cuckoos at England. <laughs> at England, <laughs> it'll get you. <laughs> no, it really won't. Three C England. Uh, yeah. That no, it won't. I've no idea. Nah, don't start don't, getting your address. Don't do that. It might get weird. Yeah. Um, I already so get yeah, enough hate mail. Get us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. We'll start posting a few pictures of March Fags face. Do you want to do a quick beard update? No. Your beard's looking mint. I trimmed it. But yeah. I yeah. trimmed it because nice. it was looking scruffy. So, Tied it up a bit. Yeah. I just, yeah. I, I got, I got, I got a, a trimmer. Yeah. And just give it a whoop yeah. once over. It's Put good. it on the longest thing. Yeah. So, yeah. It Keep might it. fill out. If it does, yeah. then it's going. No. Oh. Give it another few weeks. See how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, or, or just keep the tash. I don't want to keep the oh, tash. Oh, that would be the hilarious. the worst. 
Or if you're going to shave it off, shave it all off apart from the tash, take a photo, and then just get rid I'm of it. I'm not like a clown. I'm not here for your twos and me. <laughs> waka waka. Am I? It's all right for you. <laughs> Why? Because you can grow a massive beard. Well, I won't say massive. <laughs> Yours is no better than mine. Well, it's a bit thicker. Well, it's not though, is it? <laughs> it's not really, is it? <laughs> I'm a bit fairer haired, you see. Oh, is that your excuse? Yeah, that's beard. it, yeah. You know, it just gives an excuse Guess- for having a shit beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a fair Shit head. beard. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Sweet. No, anyway. I'm sorry. Right. I'm not having it. I'm All not right. here for your amusement. Well, so you thank, you <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much for that's joining it. You just talk over me, <laughs> fucking bitch. Go on, sorry, Mark. Take the oh, stage. Fuck you now. All right, there you go. You weren't going to say it anyway. Um, so thank you for joining us. Thank you. We will be back next week. Um, yeah, please stay tuned. And, yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye. Tweet us at Three Cuckoos on the Twitters. Email us three cuckoos at gmail.com or visit the blog, the Three Cuckoos Podcast. Dot wordpress.com Can I go now?